What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of The Driving Professor. For those of you who are actually new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, share this out. When you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Okay, so today's video is going to be about road rage. And uh, it's a huge problem, uh, especially here in the United States, man. A lot of people frustrated, uh, unemployment, um, uh, uncertainty with the future and things like that. And I'm uh, starting to see a lot of this myself personally out there. I, myself, unfortunately, was stupidly involved in a road rage incident. Uh, you know, by no personal fault of the um, person I was actually involved with. You know, again, when it comes to road rage, it's never personal. It's just, you know, things that are going on in a, in a person's life. And, you know, and, you know, we take it on the road with us. And, you know, we got to always constantly remind ourselves not to actually, uh, you know, um, get into these type of stupid situations, you know, because they can have uh, really drastic outcomes for us. All right. So let's get into this video here. Uh, this is road rage uh, confirmations. And um, I can't pronounce the person's name that's actually, uh, you know, giving us this video. But let's get into it over here. Okay, so it looks like that we actually have a, a wreck here, accident, and the person is actually attempting to flee the scene. All right, so I understand that the person is actually attempting to flee, but uh, you're putting yourself in in um, great bodily harm or even death in a sense. Though we don't know if this person is a criminal, uh, whether he stole this car or um, he's drunk, he's high. We don't know what's going on with this guy. Uh, his car is wrecked. I mean. Uh, get the license plate and actually just be a great witness. And um, if nobody died, you know, I can understand if someone, somebody, you know, a kid got ran over in, in this type of a scenario, but nobody died here. Just be a great witness, get the plate, and uh, the police will actually catch this person right here. All right, let's watch more of this. See, I mean, he's crazy, man. This guy's a. If he's doing this, man, you got to let this guy go, man. You see this other, there's, there's another person in the SUV, actually. Look, he's blocking him off with his SUV. I mean, I'm not, listen, I love my car, man. I'm not trying to have it devalued in the shop and and uh possibly not be without a vehicle because sometimes like <laughs> these guys are crazy it's not worth it man let the guy go man let him go be a good witness get the license plate they'll catch this guy or yeah see this is unnecessary right here this guy's smashing the uh the car car window here what about if he backs up and runs over this guy right here man yeah, these guys don't do this. Do not do this. Hell, he can even argue that he's actually in fear of his life, man. He's in fear of his safety. And he actually has to do this. Um, he can argue this to a, uh, uh, to a DA right here. And if you get run over, man, you and, and you have a hammer in your hand... You know, this guy has a hammer in in his hand. Look at this. So he, I mean, if he gets out the car, he can. He's actually justified in running him over, man. You know, um, it depends on the jurisdiction. All right, let's move on. See the guy in the, in the red SUV is actually driving reckless now. Um, <laughs> his adrenaline is on it is in a real high right now yeah guys just be a great witness let's move let's move on
I said, this looks like a, it looks like a, a um, this guy that got out the car is trying to uh, merge in and uh, trying to jump the traffic. Again, just let the guy in. This is, it's not worth getting into an accident, man. It's just not worth it. It's not certainly worth it. Um, think big picture. You know, think about possibly getting hurt or going to prison, and and um, um, it is it, not worth it, guys. It's not worth it, guys and gals. If y'all get into this type of situation, uh, if you get hurt, you could be permanently. Um, he clubs you over the head with that thing, man. You could have some serious. Maybe you could you could have seizures for the rest of your life, man. You know, just try to be a good, sane, uh, sober. <laughs> moral person that's my man um uh john from active self-protection actually says man be a sane good sober moral person and you won't actually get into these type of situations i said there's no there's no subtitle here so i don't know what he, i don't know what they're saying but it looks like this guy humbled him right here man He came out with some type of a tool here. It was like a little mini bat. He came out. <laughs> All right, and that's that's the way to kind of handle these things, man. This walk away is not worth it. This guy didn't let his ego get the. I mean, he did initially, but then he realized it's it's, it's just not worth it. And um, the alpha male and this and this guy in the dash cam actually uh, surfaced right here, man, and put the beta in check here. All right, so you have a, um, a woman that actually left her kids in the car. Uh, they had to call EMS, fire department, and the police. And this is not exactly considered road rage, but this is the cop actually barking on this woman because uh, she stupidly left the children in the car. I don't know how people do that, man. Um, I get that they were sleeping, but you got to leave. The, not, just don't do it. Don't leave your kids in the car. Don't do it. And now you can understand sometimes why actually cops can have a bad, uh, 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 you know, an attitude with you. Uh, sometimes they can be coming from an accident that they seen a, um, a kid get killed in. Um, these cops are human too. And uh, I wouldn't want their job, man, because, you know, this guy really, really wants to punch this woman in the face. And I don't blame him, man. Leaving children and children in a car, and it's like ninety to ninety-five uh, degrees out, and she act like she doesn't give a damn, you know. And the restraint that this officer has to have is really incredible. arguing arguing with the officer to say hey i'm sorry i apologize it was stupid um but you're showing like you don't really give a shit man um it's not good it's not good it it, it kind of gets me angry because i love children yeah you know, i really really love children um i mean anybody that's watching this this show here i would die for any one of you guys kids and um i understand why this officer is really really irate See, sometimes I can understand why the, uh, uh, sometimes police officers can not be in the greatest mood at times because this would actually piss you off the rest of the day. Then you got to go pull somebody over that's being even, you know. Oh, 
Oh, this car did a dick move to this guy here. I'm not sure this is a police officer or not that's actually pulling him over. It looks like it, yeah. So, yeah, check, you know, check those mirrors, man. If you're going to do something stupid, man, you got to you got to you got to check those mirrors, man. You should <laughs> That's why I always say on this channel, check your mirrors every 3 to 5 seconds. All right, this person actually does this. And again, check your mirrors every three to five seconds and you know the cop is right behind you and you don't do things like this. All right, battery's dying on the camera.